girls are like, this guy is the sweetest guy in the whole world. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea who he is. <laughs> it's another edition of KFC Radio coming to you live from Barstool, Chicago. Presenting sponsor of the day, Kentucky Fried Chicken. John, let me ask you something. Do you like fried chicken? Oh, mama, do I love fried Do chicken. you like melty cheese? Woo, baby, do I like melty cheese? Do you like pepperoni? That's my favorite of the three. What if I put that all together? Come on. And I gave you the KFC pizza. You couldn't the do it. The chicken pizza is here. It Someone is... would step in and stop Nobody. you. Nobody. You couldn't. Nobody's stopping me. <laughs> oh, I don't believe it. It almost feels like the government should step in. <laughs> it almost feels like this is unfair to the rest of the food world. Like, cheats is going to put everyone else out of business. Why has no one thought of the cheats before? Che is chicken? It... Check. Cheese? Check. Pepperoni? Check. Get out of here. Have you what? had cheats here the whole time? Bro, cheetza. Gee, give me a cheetza. I've, I've already eaten three meals today. It's noon. I don't care. I want a cheetza. Bro. Let me wash my white pants. Excuse me. Oh, <laughs> really good. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hang on. Hang on. That's really good, guys. Hang on a second. The government needs to step in. <laughs> <laughs> this is... Damn, dude. I, I mean, I've already eaten so much today. I have to do a combine in a minute. This is so good. Bro, you know when, like, the government steps in to, like, stop, like, monopolies? Like, you guys can't get together. That's too much. That's this. That's, that's fried chicken coming together with cheese and pepperoni. Like, some things are just, you know, too... Too powerful. This is like Thanos getting the final Infinity Stone. That's crazy good. That's crazy good. That's what's up. Yeah. That was. It's just take pizza, remove the bread, put in the fried chicken, and once again, you get everything you need in one shot. Just like the smashed potato bowl. You eat a pizza, you get your carbs, you get your, your dairy, you get your meat, you get your, uh, your, your, whole, your protein, whole your chicken. Meal right in your hand. Boom. I got the whole meal in my hand. I got the whole meal in my hand. I got the whole meal. meal? In my hand, I got the whole meal in my hand. Ready, de, de, de. <laughs> Thank you and good night. We got a big episode for you today. We are currently live at the Barstool Combine, which is always a uh, kind of a staple, if you ask me, of the of the Barstool Cinematic Universe. Yeah. Uh, but on the back half, we got Drewski, who is a guy I have been chasing down since probably 2020. Um. So almost five years I've been trying to get Drewski on the show, meaning five years ago I tried. And, I, <laughs> and, I, and since then I've been saying, damn, I really wish Drewski came on the show. <laughs> that's, my, that's my definition of chasing people down. Uh, but just the, I just love when we get like a funny black guy on and it's just t us two goofy white guys. <laughs> and, it, and it's about that. Like, yeah. like, like we, make, we make light of it. It's very funny. Him making fun of us for not knowing shit. And, uh, he has some very, very funny moments. Really smart dude. Uh, really funny guy. So... That's a big interview, but the, the combine is here. My heat has already gone, and I would like to formally announce my retirement. You're done. Put the jersey in the rafters. I am officially retiring from Barstool Combines. I am... Uh, well, they're only like every four years. They're like presidential elections. They are, So, but, but I mean, I, th got... I, I think me and Dan and you... No, not even you. Me and Dan are the only three-time combine competitors. Yes. Um. And I am officially retiring. Wow. Once Big I saw moment. Dave wasn't here, I was like, you got to be fucking kidding me. <laughs> I didn't even think to talk to him. Dave doesn't have, Dave can't do combines or anything. I thought, like, Dave doesn't have shoulders. He says that where he's like, I have bad shoulders. Dave, they're like, physically, they're not he's there. built like a tent. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it just goes like waist to head. Yeah. <laughs> TP Porton, what they call them. Like, it, 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 <laughs> TP TP forty yeah. for the birthday party. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Um, uh, I'm not far behind him on the shoulder front and the pinched nerve front and uh, and the neck and everything. Uh, haven't worked out in so many years. So uh, I'm a forty. I felt like. Uh, I felt like, uh, was it Mike Gundy? Yes. Like, I'm 40. Yeah. <laughs> but in a bad way. I was like, I'm 40. Yeah. Uh, and so, you know, the first combine was legendary. 
Uh, second combine was a little more corporate. This one, we're kind of back to, to, you know, back to basics, but with all the bells and whistles of, of Chicago, so it's, it's fun. But I, uh, I hereby bow out. Uh, the best, abil- best ability is availability. I will no longer be available. <laughs> I was available for the first three. Uh, again, you know, that first one uh, will be talked about, you know, until the day that Barstool ends. Uh, I'm, I'm happy to have been around for everybody to, uh, you know, laugh at, at my broken body and my lack of athleticism, but uh, I'm going to ride off into the sunset, <laughs> put the jersey in the rafters. I actually do have a shirt. Welker made a one of one shirt that has like a crest and it says the best ability is availability. Uh, and I'm just, I'm sad, but ha- it's, it's bittersweet. Uh, I'm sad, but I'm happy to report I will no longer be available. That's that's because a sad es- especially if it's but, four more years. Yeah, that's what I'm so saying. like, like the next be... one, I'll be dead. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't think Dave did the last one either. Now that we're talking about it, mm, he he I, was there. He was there. Yeah, he commented but, with McShay. I think bullshit. See, it's such bullshit. This is what I fucking hate. Is like as soon as something is like Dave's like, well, I, I can't do that, or I'm gonna look bad doing that. He just doesn't do yeah. it. Yeah, I, I I could be misremembering, but I'm I'm pretty fucking sure that he did not participate he just commented so uh, once i heard he was not here i legitimately i mean I, I i knew right off the bat i was not even going to attempt the bench because i will my shoulder will rip out from that so i was like i'm already skipping one of the four events i basically like and i don't want to be the guy who doesn't try that's not cool but yeah. i also am like i'm not tearing something or <laughs> something for for just to be on camera for like 15 minutes so you know i was like i don't even i shouldn't even be here and then I heard Portnoy wasn't here. I was like, I really shouldn't be here. If I didn't even know it was an option to skip out. And then I saw the reaction to Ben Mintz, who skipped today's combine to be in a poker event. Um, and now Dave Portnoy has said that the winner of the combine gets Mincy's winnings from the poker tournament he's in. Mincy's currently already in the money. I think I heard from like 10 to 15 grand, but he had 34% of the chips on the table. He's in a good spot. So if he like, if he makes a run, gets to the final table, however this tournament is done, somebody might win like 100 grand from the Barstool Combine. Yeah, I think I think Mincy stands to win 125. I don't know how that works. Like there, there's no chance I win the Barstool Combine, but if I were to win... Which it's, it's I I think it'll be Will obviously I think KB PFT is one other one I, I don't want to actually I don't want to spoil anything for my heat but there's a guy in my group that is very good that uh, oh, oh new newcomer that I don't think people were Nikki thinking smokes about. yeah France I, I was thinking about the other I forgot I was just thinking Nikki smokes group, is twenty four but but here's what you're forgetting is that the final is a wonderlick so he's out uh, and, uh, <laughs> the final is a barstool wonderlick written by Nick right? Nick yeah. That might be a house of horrors. Yeah. <laughs> Who fucking knows what, what Nick Tarani can come up with in his brain for some sort of uh, you know intelligence test for Barcelona sports? Get out of here. But you're right. That's gonna be he might he might get to the to the final with like a you know fifty point lead and yeah. blow it on the Wonderlick. <laughs> but if you win, particularly if you're Will Compton, but if if you're pretty much anyone I think nah, a couple people I think deserve every everyone deserves it. But I mean like don't already have millions have of money. dollars. Yeah. <laughs> um I think, uh, I mean, you can't. Dave you can't legally. Mincy. If you, Dave's you, like Mincy, give Will your money. Will's got to be like, no. Well, right? okay. There's a couple things at play here. Can Dave Portnoy force you to give up your earnings from out of work, an out of work event, to another coworker? The answer is probably legally no. Can Dave Portnoy just fire you right. for not showing up at this event? Absolutely. So then we run into the the question, will Mincy give up that money to keep his job? An investment in your future. I. What would the number have to be? Put yourself in Mincy's shoes. Because for us, it's a, it, it, the number would have to be pretty big. Be, yeah. You know, because we have career a career here and earning potential. If you're Mincy... How much money do you have to win at that poker tournament to walk away from Barstool to keep that money? It's not what's available. 
It's, it's I think I think one twenty five is is the highest. Yeah, and I, I think you got to go seven figures. Uh, seven. I think so. I I think that's one of those things in your head. You say seven, but like if it was seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars, you think you're, he's going to give it up? Yeah, eight hundred, nine hundred thousand, bro. But again, we're cutting it in half right away. <laughs> John loves his taxes. <laughs> John loves his taxes, and, and so you're cutting it in half. And then like all right, uh, four fifty. Let's so call then you're it. then you're then you're looking at what three and a half years of Mincy salary. Four Who knows? Years. With Mincy, it might be one year. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows with this goddamn place? So like that that seems yeah. that would be a poor investment. You're right. I, I, you're I, right. I, I think as far as I know, now, I'm investing. <laughs> which is now zero. the other side of things. Again, Dave can't legally force you to do anything, but he can be like, "Here's the deal: you're fired if not." But does that then create? Are there going to be hit pieces? Are there going to? Is it going to be a shit storm for Dave if he basically uses intimidation tactics to bully an employee into giving up his earnings? Because you can't, you can get in trouble for missing a work event, but you, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like. But also, I mean, this is a privately run company. You can do whatever the fuck you want. Totally. Right? Like, well, <laughs> uh, that's a good question. Like, I always wonder that when when Dave brought it back and people kept saying that, like, it's just his company now. I still think there's like oh, there better, laws. better business bureau yeah. and OSHA and stuff, which obviously you can't break laws, but something like intimidating your employees like that. I, who's gonna fucking like a like a like a judge can can be like Dave Portnoy is not allowed to make Mincy feel uncomfortable <laughs> at work. It is I, that's the whole point of Mincy. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, that would be a great legal case. Dave and his lawyers being like, uh, Your Honor, his entire existence is like. Me intimidating him because he fucks things up. <laughs> <laughs> he also, <clears throat> it's a little different when you are already here on a uh, get out of jail free card. Yeah, you know he kind of hooked it up. You had you had an error. Granted that he really shouldn't have been fired for that, but like he was, and and then he came back under you know under the the new regime. But um, I mean Mincy will will probably. Mince, you know, you know, Mincy. Well, it was just stupid. You know, I just shouldn't have done it. And uh, and you know, uh, I would, I would, Dave, I would give up all the money for you. You know, like, it could be, it could be seven figures. It could be ten million. And I would give it up because I love Barstool so much. Um, so, but I'll tell you the uh, the vibe in line at the combine changed significantly when all of a sudden we heard that there was Mincy gambling on the line because uh, it's a lot of money, and I think it's also. Just holy. Now, okay, so that was the other part of it, as you said, though. There's the Dave and can he do it, and then there's the winner. I would definitely feel weird, and I would not like taking someone's money like that. Yeah, taking, I, I don't, I don't, I don't think you can. I think Dave will probably make it right in the I, sense that he'll, make, I don't well, know if he'll give his money, but like, Dave will find a I way think, to I get think, you what he gets. Here's what, what I think happens. He gets. Here's what I think will happen. Dave will pay you fifty thousand dollars. And then Mincy has to donate his winnings to the Miss Peaches yeah, dog. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. There will be some financial finagling. I, 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 I think he will think legitimately make him donate it to that dog fund. That would make sense. Like it's it's the flavor of the moment right now. We'll talk about Miss Peaches in a moment. Uh, people love the dog thing. So even if you you know, it's like even if you are on Mincy's side or you don't like Dave, it's like well I don't know. This guy fucked up at work. The money's going to a good cause. What you know? Yeah. Everybody wins in the end except for Mincy, but he gets to keep his job, so everybody wins. <laughs> I, I bet you the, that's the what biggest happens. loser could still be Will Compton if he doesn't win this. Yo, there has never been a worse situation for someone to be in. He has nothing to gain and everything to lose. And I think this is a real thing. I've been saying this a lot. Uh, I went on uh, WFAN the other day. We can talk about that in a minute, too. And I was talking to Gio, who's the local uh, morning show sports radio guy here in New York. And I was saying how one of the things I want to do later in my career is consult. PR consultant for either individual athletes or teams, franchises on how to <coughs> how to uh, run things with their career. Will Compton should not have done this. Yeah, Will Compton, much like Jared the Rocket Carabas, should have never picked up the ball during the Cyber Monday a couple years ago uh -huh. to see who could throw the hardest. Jared, let me tell you a little tale. The Rocket had one time stepped up at a speed speedball challenge, threw it like 80-something, low 80s, something like that. I don't remember. It was like 83 miles an hour. He beat White Sox Dave, another fellow guy here at the company who can throw hard. He was the champion. 
80 something miles an hour, beat Dave and was like, I am the rocket. I can throw harder than anyone at Barstool. I think we all kind of knew that was like a little fluke or his best throw ever. I don't know. Maybe the stars aligned that day for Rocket. I remember being like, I don't think he can consistently throws that hard. Along comes Cyber Monday. It's time for, for him to back it up again. And he steps up and he throws like 71. And White Sox Dave, like light work, like barely winds up, throws like 90 or some shit. And uh, the Rocket... Dave, Dave immediately was like, "You can no longer call yourself the Rocket. <laughs> like, you're, you not only did you lose, like your nickname is gone." And I remember him saying, "I would have never touched that ball. I would have said, I'm the champ. I already did this. I like, I don't have anything to prove. I don't need to do this again. Let the peasants, you know, play for second place." And now, granted, that's Dave, and again, he can do whatever he wants. He can check out of these things if he doesn't want to. But there's something to be said for finding a way out of the. The, the no win situations. Mm. Will Compton should have said, "I'll I'll be the the broadcast." I thought that's what he was doing. Yeah. I thought he was going to do like kind uh, of. I'll Clay's, be the ref. I'll Clay be Arbor. the. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to consult all the guys. Like we have another guy here who's like in great shape who would fucking dominate all of us. So he's just like helping. You know, yeah. Will Compton needs to come in here and be like, "I'm from the NFL. I would dust all of you clowns. <laughs> so I'm not going to be competing today because if Will Compton loses, <sighs> he is so like." I, I've been telling you know, we're in the same group, so I've been kind of watching with him for a lot of it. And he, like, there's so much training and so much knowledge that goes into just doing these events. Like, it's not it's not even just physical ability. It's like how to – If, if you the, have the, the same right. physical ability as Will, he's got a humongous leg up because he knows – What, like how to jump off the block on the yes. 40? How to how – to Plant your feet and jump like that. Correct. Kind of shit. How yeah. to how to bench press for for like that many reps? And oh, there was. Kind of stuff. I, I felt so bad on the bench press. There's two types of people. There is Marty Mush, who has nine foot arms and no chest. Yeah. His bar is going twelve feet up and down. You know. <laughs> and then like White Sox Dave was like because he's tiny arms, big chest, and he barely has to touch it. So yeah, there's there's a lot of different uh, techniques, and and everybody here knows none of them. Right. Uh, and will uh, you know, you think at least you know can he conjure some of that up ten years later? I'm sure he can, but you know, I, he's got the back problem. He was worried about you know any impact. The the throwing thing is kind of a fluke. It's yeah. not you know, yeah. It's 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 a little dicey. Where all of a sudden, you know. Even if Will come, you know, even if he doesn't blow people out, it's going to be like <laughs> you played in the NFL and <laughs> year like, ten was last Nikki, year, bro. Nikki Smokes beat you or whatever. <laughs> so that is uh, an all time. You should have checked out. You should have been involved in another way. Maybe you know uh, do something with the winner afterward. I don't know, whatever. Because boy, is that is that a bad look? I'll tell you. You want to know the worst look of all? Trevor Bauer might need to retire from baseball. Trevor Bauer put out, first of all, he cucked Marty hard. What happened? He put out the video. Oh, really? So Marty went and did a... Uh, actually, I, 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 was, I was very pulled back because I thought I didn't think it was out or anything like that. Well, yeah. So Marty is putting out this video. Actually, let me just... Uh, so we got... Marty? I just figured... <laughs> I figured we'll get Marty in here and no better chair for him than the, the King's throne here. Uh, we were just talking about Will Compton, who has nothing to gain and everything to lose in the com in the combine. I said, you want to talk about nothing to gain, everything to lose. Trevor Bauer agreed to do this challenge with Marty. Called me out. Called you out. Yeah. Was So Marty, I also, I just retired from combines, by the way. Good for you. You know what? Good for you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I also, um, I am retiring for something else. I am retiring from ever doubting Marty Mush ever again. Thank you very much. And I was, I, 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 I had probably the biggest mouth of all. I said, Marty set out to do this challenge. I'm going to face a hundred. Uh, I'm going to do a hundred major league at bats, go down to spring training, find these guys. How many hits do you think I'm going to get? And I was laughing. I said, you're not going to make contact and I did this already. I did this every time with Mush Madness back in the in the in the in the Corona. <laughs> every time he did a trick shot, I was like, "That's going to take you a hundred hours, twenty throws done." <laughs> and and I should have learned my lesson then. But I said, "This is different. This is major league pitching. You're never going to get a hit." Marty steps up. Trevor Bauer. First hit in four at bats. 
Two at bats? Second bat. Second, second at bat. bat. Second Marty at gets bat. a hit against Trevor Bauer. I didn't know it was the second at bat. 95. <laughs> Bro, Trevor. I, I, I was pretty close to Kevin, if not even worse than Kevin. I don't know what I said you were going to hit, but I, I, I think. I mean, I said you zero, said, so it can't get much worse. You said zero. <laughs> I said zero, too, yeah. yeah. And I was like, I, I went to the, was it the Jackals? Mm -hmm. I went to the Jackals game, and you were on it. You followed, you followed one back, I think, yeah. right? Um, and I was still like, but even that, there's such a leap. I didn't think, I didn't have any faith in you either. And, and, and make no mistake, this was not like a, he's just like long toss to just like, let me throw you some pitches. He said, uh, Trevor Bauer, not only was he like, you know, he was like throwing 95 mm -hmm. and shit. He said he wouldn't talk to him. He was giving him like, he was like, I'm going to give you my full physical, mental, and emotional like performance. So I second at bat, he gets yeah. a hit. <laughs> I... We're going to have our own video version coming out because it has a lot of before. So I walk in, and he is blasting screamo music. Blasting. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Dana's freaking out. He doesn't do good in those situations. <laughs> and uh, he wouldn't – like, he said hello quick and then got straight back. We did not, like, banter before it. Like, we didn't be like, hey, thanks for doing this. Nothing. Yeah. Just – he's – Screaming at things. He's throwing against the wall, going fucking berserk. And then he's got his minions and his fucking goons coming up to me, being like, Did you last me? Like, a what? <laughs> and they were like, You're <laughs> fucked, buddy. Like, and they were like all on his side. Who like, are these, like trainers fucked. and shit? You know, it's like they have this, their own little, like, it's called momentum, I think. They have like their own content people that Whoa. do stuff. Yeah, I don't know. They were all coming up. It made me feel weirdly calmer because, like, this is weird. Yeah, you guys yeah. are dorks. Yeah. And they're like, Do you want to warm up? You should probably warm up. I was like, No, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Let's get in there. Take these cuts. And Let's the go. first at bat, I grounded out and he got angry. I but the bad that you even made contact. Yeah. yeah. And then the second at bat, I just fucking roped. One bro, right and it's and, and, and it's like, a <laughs> it's a simulator. So like you turn to the TV, and it's yeah. like this ball would have like dropped into the outfield. It wasn't like a oh I would have caught that. No, I wouldn't have. It's like like a golf simulator. It shows you that would have been a base knock. And more than that, the crack of the bat on that one. <laughs> yeah, it's Smoke. You know, you're in like an indoor thing, but it's like echoing. Mm. It was like yo, that was good wood on a 95 mile an hour major <laughs> league pitch. He, he Trevor Brown was doing the fucking thing yeah. to him, and Marty bro, did he, it right so back. What did, Mar what did uh, Trevor do? He put the video out. So he put so the video yeah, out. So then there's the other side of this. It's actually yeah. kind of interesting as a content conversation about what yeah, to well do. Yeah, we had the conversation because we, I was like, hey, I'm doing this series. Like, because I did it with three other pitchers before him. He was yeah. my last one. And I was like, I would like to put this out. But then he's like, his editor's like, hey, we're just going to put it out. That's fucked, the man. The 24th or whatever. And I was like, I don't know if it's done. He, he, did, he didn't fuck me because he did say it. But like, I was. Can we technically use their footage? Like, because it was their facility. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But so I, I guess I, I that he, get that. Like, they did you. They're, they're like, we'll be a part of this. You can use the facility and all yeah. that. But if it was like a one-off, if it was just one time, you guys both filmed. Yeah. He had his vlog cameras. You guys are both just doing, you know, a mutual event. But like, you're doing my series, bro. I have three other things that the we're editing. The problem is though, he does the shit with the other guy there. Like, they face each other all the time, and he's like a retired minor league player or whatever so it's like it was a weird situation again all right we didn't talk all right much. so that's a little like 50 50 so they do that content they're like the only one that kind of does this type of content anyway but you're putting yours out like uh, this will be out tomorrow yours is coming out this week yeah my some of the first picture i'm putting out is wednesday so, so like i i think there's a chance it helps a, build like the interest in yeah but yeah, well it's a whole it's a different because his put out like a 10 minute it's like the whole of at -bat. yeah but his but i guess to watch the other people because oh, yeah i meant the other yeah, I meant the rest yeah. Of the season. yeah the other yeah. one is because there's still other stuff that happened with those really funny but like his side was him breaking down pitches like baseball nerd shit like yeah. i should have thrown this like he was breaking it down like i was shohei otani yeah. it was crazy and all the comments were like are you sure you want to put this out? Yeah. Like because you're trying to sign with a team and Marty Mush just got two hits. Bro, <laughs> he if was there's like one commenting thing I've back learned, to people. There's one thing I've learned: like perception matters. Like yeah, you know, you could baseball is a silly sport; it's a fluke. If let's say Trevor Bauer, everything else is on point. He's physically ready, mentally ready. Your team needs a pitcher. Like all that can be true, but you know, there's some money ball shit going on. There's some guys in the room going. He was giving up base knocks to that dude at Barstool. <laughs> like that, that, I think, actually might and get into a... he was throwing some gross shit. Yeah. Like, some of those curveballs. And, like, he he wasn't just throwing fastballs either. They were, he has six pitches. He threw six different pitches. So maybe hours. the question is not Trevor Bauer. Maybe the question is give Marty Thank a fucking you, contract. This is what everyone's saying. Like, oh, Marty got two hits. Anyway, he must be washed. So I was like, I honestly think I'm just good at baseball. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think I might just be good. Because then you'll see the rest of the series, like... 
I'm not going to spoil it, but like I, I, all the guys were definitely surprised. Yeah, yeah, yeah. were surprised. Well, like, so what do you think it is? Is it your, uh, you're not like fat. You're yeah. not like it's not like you look at Marty and you're like he's not an athlete. You're a little bit lanky, so it's not like you, you expect not, to be it like look good. I, maybe it's when you talk, you sound stupid and yeah, stuff. Marbles. People think it's, that you it's one hundred percent the talking. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, yeah. <laughs> we can all like, agree. Like, talking doesn't matter. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Don't get me wrong. I'm not a good talker either. I don't like. I, I think my voice ruins things. I think well, it's, it's, it's a, a different level. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, our jobs are our voice, but still, that's kind of why people are also listening. But a little but bit how else. many other people in the world have you been like? That guy sounds dumb. He's probably not a good athlete. Yeah, that's they all. <laughs> like for some reason, that's a knock. Too. Yeah, usually yeah. I like my athletes stupid. <laughs> yeah, because I've got so even some people are like, oh, it, oh, he's not even in the major leagues. Like, bro, this guy won the Cy Young. Yeah, yeah. like three years ago. Right. Okay. Like, let's slow bro, it down. Th that's he played last things, year in, in Japan. Too, I was gonna say like, he was playing professional baseball somewhere. That's one of those things. Like at age fifty, I would still be like, he's gonna gas Marty. Yeah. He's yeah. a fucking professional pitcher. And we have the next three is uh, the opening day star. For the A's uh, guy on the Red Sox who just got traded in that Verdugo trade. Oh, yeah. And then uh, Kyle Freeland. <laughs> I forgot you're just. Oh, Jordan Montgomery? <laughs> <laughs> and then Kyle Freeland, who's been around for a mm. little bit. But I yeah. mean, and, and, you know, again, no spoilers, but I'll just say I was wrong about Martin. <laughs> It's uh, cra it's kind of crazy. Crazy. Like, do you think other do you think other pitchers will be like, I need to do this now? So, or do you think they're kind of like, I'm not doing this? I shit? was hoping, again. PR point of view. If I'm if I'm some of these guys' reps, I say again, you have nothing to gain, everything to lose. It's, you know what it is? It's it's like your boy. It's very Jake Paul esque. Yeah. Where it's like, what I want to happen is a prime boxer to step up and be like, this is what happens when you fight a, a real boxer currently at his peak and he gets worked. But those guys are like, what if uh, catches you on the jaw and you just go down? You have nothing to gain, everything to lose. But what I hope for you is that I want like. You know, I was gonna say Degrom. I don't even know where he's at with his fucking arm I don't like anymore. Garrett but I, Cole to yeah, like, I want Garrett Cole go. to be like, he's like this. I'm better than all these. people. And then imagine Marty gets at bats against like a real. <laughs> you know, it, that kind of happened with the um, hockey Shoot challenge. Out. But that was that they had plenty. Of, like the athletes had plenty to fall back on there. We we're like, yeah. it's roller hockey. We're a hundred feet away. Totally, it was just you're just playing baseball. baseball. Yeah, like, yeah. This is, and it's like that wasn't the uh, goalie challenge. Was like a shot. From far away, yeah, it wasn't right. like it was a breakaway or anything. Like this yeah. is like th they're trying because every pitcher was like, "I tried my hardest because I did not want to give up a hit." And right. they're all like, one guy literally was like, I "Hopefully, I don't see that in spring training." <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's crazy, but it was so cool to be honest. Like seeing ninety, like the fast I saw was ninety six. That's, That's bro, fucking insane. I <laughs> went to I went to the batting cages. Mm, I don't know, like a year ago, and. Uh, it was on like medium, so I don't even know what the miles per hour was, but it was, and I, even that I was like, Poo! I was yeah. like, yeah. <laughs> right, I don't remember a medium batting cage being that fast yeah. when I was a kid. I so did I it. can't even imagine movement at ninety five is fucking nuts. But you 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 agree with this? You keep expectations so low, you become like a make a wish kid, and they're like, oh, good job, mm -hmm. you know, like That's when you that keep expectations. Time. You know, John. What, what hey, John, you, you know, tell me what that you was do all that. that? <laughs> Hey, you hey, always tell hey, me that. You dumb asshole. You get this, right? You always say keep the expectations <laughs> low. So when you do something, you big, you like, big dumb baby. Yeah. yeah. You said that so much. Like, you get this. <laughs> Brother, that, you know, everyone that's, thinks you're a fat idiot, right? <laughs> that's on purpose, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's when you were, when I was saying it, you were not laughing. Like, uh oh. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think he thought this. <laughs> that's fucking great. <laughs> yeah, that that's the mantra, dude. In everything in life, whether you're doing an athletic challenge, whether you're doing a presentation, speech, whatever, do not do not go above and beyond. Do not do extra work. Oh, yeah. Take the vacation. Leave work early. Come in late. Do the bare minimum, and don't make anybody think that you're good at anything. Because then, when you are, it's a big surprise. <laughs> yep. And when you're not, it's like, well, that's, it's, it's you know, it's, that's the big dumb idea, John. It's the big dumb idea, party. <laughs> Whatever we, you know. A lot of these guys though were like, like the A's guys. Like, dude, no one really knows who I am. Any, like, I'm an opening day star. They don't know exactly who he is. It's By the like, way, that's it does. It's the yeah. opening day starter. I mean, yeah. the A's are in bad shape. They're in bad shape. But, but like, but he was like, power. it kind of helps. Like, it's like, it helps me a little bit. Like, sure. a little recognition. Get your like, name out a little yeah, bit. Get your yeah. name out. Like, show a person who who in the MLB shows a personality. 
Do you know anyone, dude? They they tr mm. they acted like Trevor Bauer was like because he started doing yeah, yeah, before yeah. all this shit happened. He was doing YouTube and shit, and they were like MLB personality. And I was like, if this is the best offering, we're in trouble. Yeah, you know, big trouble. The MLB is fucking vanilla, dude. Yeah, they are. That, the, and 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 honestly, like a guy like that, like who knows, you know, good luck on your career, or whatever. But you do shit like this, and you can have a whole second career in podcasts and media. Exactly. And all that sort of That's stuff. kind of what they all were saying. Yeah. Too. But the yeah. problem was like I, because then uh, Zach Gallon, I went to his house and like interviewed him. He was like, I want to face you so badly, but I'm not ready, and I'm not going not ready. Right. Like, I'm gonna make sure <laughs> but, I'm but, ready. But for dude, this. that to me is a win. Yeah. yeah. The fact that a pitcher, a, a real pitcher, is like pitching a world. Series I need. Last yeah. Year. I pitched in the World Series. And I'm nervous to th like be like you know at my seven out of ten range. Yeah, <laughs> that's a win. Yeah, no, yeah, like, 100%. Like, like, put it this way: you, you we can put the qualifiers on or whatever. But this sentence is true: a World Series pitcher is afraid to face Marty. Yeah, <laughs> that is true. What's what's the man, two for nine? So 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 far, if you watched the Trevor Bauer, I went two for nine with a walk. That's that's you got uh, yeah, that yeah we said it's a three hundred OBP yeah that's all that's three 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 <laughs> three thirty three yeah. yeah so right now I'm winning OBP or OPB OPB OBP so on, OBP on base percentage yeah yeah I, but I thought I do that's one that makes sense OPS, but yes you think oh okay yeah, OPS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there's so many there's so yeah. many things um <laughs> we also were talking about Mincy let's say you were in his shoes how much would the winnings need to be if Dave Portnoy said to you. You have to give your winnings to the employee who won, or you are fired. How much would the winnings need to be for you to say, "Okay, then I'm fired"? I had uh, millions. Yeah, he it said seven has figures. To be. <laughs> because one, figures. how fucking stupid is Crazy. he? <laughs> <laughs> like, so dumb. you just know. Like Dave even said, he's like, "We don't do many of these events." Yeah, when there's like one. We just want to combine one every four years. Yeah, yeah. You get X to go, you go. There's well, no and excuse. his line was. Uh, I told Hank a couple weeks ago, I will 100% be there unless I advance. Yeah. Like, what's he supposed to say? Well, okay, well, if you get to the 12, it's like you don't expect him to get to the 12th person. Yeah. But like, but there's got to be like, like, like I think Dave said on, on the video he put out where it's just like, there's poker tournaments every weekend. I, I yeah. don't know what the, the what the pull of this one is versus others. Yeah. But like Why every weekend this? you can play poker. Dude, when he said, when he, what do I pay for? Oh, that hurts to hear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> funny. Well, you know what the, the real answer is, to be honest, this. This is what you pay yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like at what 100%. point at what point is the drama at Barstool what why Barstool works so well is because the people who are creating the drama, it's never intentional. Yes. It's always yeah. honest. But like if you were to start to get savvy, Mincy, it's like Mincy would be like, I'm gonna skip this on purpose because it'll then <laughs> you know what I mean? Then yeah. I'll be But like he's also But Dave's also seems really actually the combine. Yeah. Because it's yeah, Mincy. That's, that's where you're going to see. That's why it would be fun. You Mincy know, like, jump. You know? Right. If like, if, like, a middle of the road athlete skips it, it's like, well, doesn't matter. Whatever, man. But we want to, we need the best to be like, who's the fastest, whatever. And then we need the funny shit. Yeah. So, Mincy, the, the, Mincy Mincy the this 40. is so purpose, perfect. Because, like, I, I don't know if we ever talked about it. Because I think I was, was going to talk about Barcelona Radio that never came out or it just never came up on the show. But when, when me and Jackie and him went fishing in Alabama. <laughs> The uh, no fucking. Louisiana, um, we get in the boat, and the boat right. It was Mincy. Like, Mincy like just gotten hired back. Like, it was all like very quick, and we're on. It's like going through the harbor like slow, and Mincy's just like, you know, man. Before we get going out there, I just gotta say, uh, Friedberg. I mean, you you called me out pretty hard on my way out the door there, and I was like, I don't think I did, man. Like I think I just said like, you're like, yeah, you said, you know, I don't really work a lot and and all that stuff, and and I was like, well, I don't. I, I don't think was I the only person who said like, <laughs> yeah. was I like I just said I think I just said facts like I don't think I went out of the yeah. way I think I I think I said like well when you're the joke about you was that you don't work and you say the n-word like you probably set yourself up to get fired <laughs> and the and then now him just being like Dave being like what do you work for that made, when Vince did that it didn't it didn't do the whole trip but I was like what else? I just said. It's also like, said the sky's blue. You, well, yeah. That's you, just fact. You, when you Mincy in Paris, you know, like yeah. you have to, that's a thing you're gonna get someone's gonna be like you're not gonna be like ah he should be staying. Yeah, well, that, that's crazy. <laughs> uh, how's engaged life, bro? It's fantastic. I, uh, we got a new. We moved. It's nice new place. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's seriously. Uh, it's got yourself a sugar mama. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> of course. Very successful. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. No, yeah, no, we're we're loving it. We yeah. honestly, it's been like fun like planning it I, yeah. I know people get stressed 
I don't know. It wasn't really stressful. <laughs> Pretty much done. <laughs> Dude, th- that, yeah, that's it's one hundred percent one of those things that like just doesn't need to be the way it is. Yeah. So if you get if you get together with the right person and you have the money and your families are good and there's not all those outside stressors. Yes. And that's you don't have like a bride zealous. Yeah. The money yeah. But it's also like we're both the same where it's like we'll get to it. Yeah. And, and I can see her being like, yeah, I don't know. These flowers are good. This is good. Like yeah. not going crazy. She's also and then it's just like that. So. Yeah. Done. I don't know. Just, all it is, is is you're planning a party. Yeah. That's that's you're just planning a party. party. So like it's a big one and there's some things you got to worry about, but it's. You're not like you know running a company. I will You're say fucking. the hardest part is the is who to invite because it's crazy. Because I'm not it's, obviously it's, making it like a bar stool like thing. Yeah, Fuck that. yeah. There was <laughs> a also, time they tried to ruin it. You know? yeah. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I didn't. Wanna, I, I, I was gonna say I'll. You you guys have been good about taking the high road. I'll say it. I would be. Man, I would have been running up the scoreboard on a bunch <laughs> of people. On a bunch of people who were like, well, yeah, I mean, I guess if they get married, then it's okay. Yeah, most of the time. <laughs> well, it's fine. You know, it doesn't matter. I really yeah. don't. It's honestly so fine. I really don't care about it anymore because it was so we were we knew what we were doing yeah, so yeah, yeah it wasn't yeah. like we right, did something right. stupid but the invite list is a problem because who's getting fam- invited who's getting cut I, that, I don't <laughs> think it's gonna be that hard to cut people but my family's so goddamn big and mm-hmm. so is hers mm-hmm. like my family alone is like 150 what? you guys are gonna have like a yeah. 500 person my wedding. mom's side her just her brothers and sisters is six and my dad's seven so and they all have Jesus. tons of kids so i have like so many cousins and shit. So are you? So you're inviting cousins and stuff like that? Like I know yeah, my no cousins like got married. It's like no kids. Ki- oh, no kids. Okay. No, like I, I I'm not having bastards running yeah, around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, I, I like that. Where it's like I, I don't know. If, remember, I had one cousin who was like very apologetic because my sister was two years younger than me. She didn't make the cut. She's like, it's fine. But like, I forget. I, I think I don't think I was 21 yet. But so it might have been maybe 18 year olds or what? It, I forget exactly what it was. Mm-hmm. But I, I remember like that was the first I'd ever heard of that, and I was like, this is crazy. Well, and now that I'm older, I'm like, yeah, that's don't we don't want kids. Yeah, around. it's, it's one of those so things money, too. Like I don't want them to right, be running. A kid around. to not eat his fucking meal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, you pay. I mean, they, they tell you like 200 dollars a plate, and that guy has two chicken fingers. You know, right, it's right, like, right. well, that wasn't <laughs> worth it. It's one of those things too. It's like if you were to tell me, hey, I'm, you're not going to X Y Z's wedding, I'd be like. Good. I didn't want to go, but then you find out that like it's some rule that you got yeah, yeah booted yeah, from. Yeah. You're like, well, wait a minute, fuck that. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. All of a sudden, you get mad because you're a part of some. They are so weird rule. too. Like I was at a bachelor party this weekend, and and one of the guys was talking about his friend, and he's like, I told him like, if you don't come to my wedding, I won't go to yours, and we'll call it even. And I was like, I was like, then why invite people? Well, that's yeah. that's, like, guy, that's a guy thing. That the, is. the problem is usually not worrying about inviting and not inviting guys. But yeah. like you've, I think you've said or I've heard before where like. People get excited when like a no comes back. I'm like, well, I feel pressure to go because you invited me. I know, so just I don't, don't invite that. me and I won't I, go. I, I we so I, when I was doing it, we were hunting for no's. They tell you, uh, I think they tell you, fifteen to twenty percent is like a normal drop off. Yeah, 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 right, something like that. Mm. And we got like, we got like single digit no, like just we got like everybody said yes. Say, yeah, and it's a good problem to have. You have friends and family that love you, but when you start to factor in a twenty percent drop off and you don't get that. It's a big fucking number yeah, that you're now yeah. adding to the list. And it's a big guest list. Now we got to, you know, I got to add another table. And then who's going to sit there? So it was like, why'd you tell me that there's going to be drop off? And then there was none because now we're fucked. But uh, my, uh, I think usually with guys, you can be like, hey, man, like the list is getting too big. Sorry. And yeah. okay. my thing, are you having a wedding party? I We're still like deciding. Because that's I've where I felt in, a little I'm going to be in on the, my like. I'll be in someone's wedding for like the twelfth time. Crazy, really? Twelve, just in there. Ba- I'm like, you're I don't a good friend, that. Marty. I don't want to be. I don't. I also, sometimes like I don't want to. I don't want to like be the guy or you're gonna be here at 10 a.m. and be out here. Uh, like I'd rather just want you to enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah. Like we both like just maybe like I'll do my brother. She does her sister. And that's, that's the way. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And like everyone enjoy the party. But it's funny. Both our dads are the same, right? They're both just the same person. And they're like, listen, they both say, like, we'll drop an uncle if you want any famous people. <laughs> <laughs> like, this uncle, we'll, we'll cut That's him funny. if you want a famous person. I, I remember feeling like, because uh, I got married a little bit younger, so I still was really hanging out with all my friends. You know, yeah. we, we seen each other all the time. And I we had a big crew, and I was like, you know, all these guys are like my brothers, and yep. I got so I I think I think I ended up I, only if I ever lived with you, or there's like two guys I knew from like first grade, yeah, so I knew yeah, them yeah. for like thirty years. Otherwise, you know, there's guys I was like hanging out with every weekend that I like 
to have deep conversations with it. I was like, I, I, there would be 14 of you guys up yes. here. It's ridiculous. Dude, I so remember. I just was like, if you're a roommate of mine, if you ever live with me in college or afterwards, then you can. Then you're up there. It's with also me. nice. I could be like, you were going to be in it, by the way. But yeah, <laughs> you know, we're not you doing be the best man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just to like forty people. <laughs> I remember I was dating a girl, and we were younger, and like, we weren't like talking about marriage, like marrying each other. We were just talking about weddings. Mm. And she was like, she was like, I think I'm gonna have like fourteen bridesmaids. And I remember being like, that's gonna look weird. Like <laughs> when I have three, four, it's gonna be it was five. I had in my head. <laughs> it's like it's gonna be fourteen to five. It's gonna be one guy walking. <laughs> you're gonna have two on each arm. Yeah. Four, four bridesmaids per one. And I room. honestly can't stand the walk-ins at weddings. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. never good. I right. think we actually this generation is reaching the point of like. You don't even need to get married. You don't need to have kids. And the idea of having a big wedding, especially because of money and, and jobs and yeah. debt and all that shit, not only do you not need to spend it all, but you don't need the whole pomp. And I think, I think, I think, maybe I'm wrong, but I think we're getting a little bit more like minimalistic where it's like yeah. a couple people up there, make it quick. doesn't need to be such a production anymore. No, you know, not at all. They're still expensive as fuck, man, but it's not like, it's, it's like the, the pageantry of it. It's like, whatever, we're just... Yeah. You Man, really I'll tell don't you, know you, how much things cost. If you can like, get into forget. the in, into the wedding business, if you can, if you own a, a venue, if you are a vendor, all that shit, you literally add a zero to to real numbers. If something's five hundred bucks, it becomes five thousand. Things that are regularly five thousand become fifty. I think a it's, I think it's I think a broker because those bastards open the door who and is? a broker. Yeah, if you like when you go to a new apartment. Oh yes, yes, yeah. yes. They open the door. You look around. Fifteen percent. Every. A month's rent to yeah. them. Yep. They're like, you just fucking opened it. I could have done that. Yep. I hate well, Especially, th there was a time where it was like, uh, you needed one to like find out all the listings. Now with the internet and all these apps and shit, it's yeah. like, well, you literally just have the key. If I punch you in the face and just take this key right now, I could save 15% of the year. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you. Oh, I have real quick. Uh, yep. It's going to be on Tommy's video. We won't go too much into it, but you down, me, you, fights, own a gas station? <laughs> Let me tell you something. When I was When I was a kid... When I was a little kid, I remember somebody asked me, I was probably like five years old, they said, what do you want to be when you grow up? I said, number one, I want to be a baseball player. Mm -hmm. Number two, I said, I want to be a gas man. Because back, especially Perfect. back then, when my mom would fill up at the tank, you know, $20 in the tank, he takes out a wad of cash because they, they keep it in their pocket. Wad, yeah. And he'd be like, here you go. And I remember being like, yo, pumping gas yeah. is the way to make that money. 100%. So it was always kind of been a lifelong dream of mine, so I'm in. Okay. <laughs> well, good. It's, it's Why don't we all just own a gas station? It's seriously, like, it's just so simple. Are, are we going to run like a, like, kind of like a Wawa where there's like a, or we're no, just doing gas? No, no, no sandwich. Just one of those, like, snacks. two pumps. The snacks, snacks, for sure. Dude. But no chain, yeah, no, no franchises. That, you, need, you need, like, did you know Stephen J when, like, he goes to 7-Eleven? <laughs> His wife just goes... All right, I'll see you later. And then he just looks at all the drinks. <laughs> he likes to see what kind of new drinks there are. It's one of my favorite things he says. Well, that's the tism. And I love it. I'm like, that's the tism talking. Yeah, I mean, it's a touch. How many people at, at this company do you think have the tism? <laughs> I actually think I'm the one that doesn't. You, I don't think I do. Oh, I don't think you. I think you are also on the list. I'm I don't think you. Uh, I think you, don't, you don't have. Oh, it. I don't have it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think you're on the spectrum. Me? Yeah. Some of the social stuff, I think we're on the spectrum. Uh, yeah. I think you and I, with the social stuff, we're on the spectrum. I guess a little bit. I don't. I don't think so, though. I just don't like eye contact. Like the number one thing. <laughs> John, you don't like I eye like contact, contact, and you walk on your toes. <laughs> <laughs> you got That's, the tism. I just walk like I skate. That's what we were talking about. This where, like Will texted me last night, and he was just like, "Goes fights. Can you run?" And I was like, such a disrespectful yeah, so text. Mean. <laughs> I was like, so mean. I was like, that's so mean. But also no. <laughs> uh, but like, I run. Like I'm playing hockey. Yeah, you play like, hockey. You go, go out. side to yeah. side. Hockey but players. when you walk, but that's but that's like that's you walk like this. You go like because when you when you skate when you skate you flick to get like the la every ounce inch of the blade. Yeah. Uh, so I'm doing like the little hockey flip. players Ridiculous. do not know how to function function on the <laughs> <way>. they don't. <laughs> They're like my brother's guy is a fat bastard, but he like so good on skates. Well, he cannot do anything on the floor. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah, that's hockey. It's hockey for you. You call it the floor or the ground. What? What do you mean? Blood? Oh, the ground. Well, I mean, it depends where I am. This the is the floor. floor. Indoors is the floor. The ground is outside. Yeah. But in, 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 <laughs> in, 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 in sports, you'd call it, the, like in, on basketball, you call it the floor. Yeah. Yeah. It's 
words has just been, you know, I've been thinking about you versus things. words has been a, a battle for a long time now. <laughs> Big one. All right, man. So your uh, your your video series will start uh, tomorrow, and each week you'll yeah. see a new picture. So first episode will be a little longer to do, like the story. Dana edited, so it's like a kind of like a documentary oh, style. Got it. That's great. And then. Uh, yeah, so it'll be four pictures. I'm gonna just put Bauer last. Yeah, yeah, the finale. I was Plus, you give it a little anything. time now to. I wasn't gonna say anything, but it fucking has like two million views on Twitter. So yeah. I was like, I gotta yeah. at least get some. Uh, my out my of it. final vote on that is like he he has every right to put it out, but it's just kind of a dick move. It's like, can you just wait a couple weeks, man? We can drop on the same day, same or day, like together, collab or, or something. I yeah. actually I think there's a chance that the same day you end up. End up, cannibalizing uh, each other cannibalizing each yeah because some people still like don't know anything about trevor bauer they'll yeah. see bar he's got a bunch of like it. baseball dork people yeah they love is kind of yeah. outside like so. mine's been more making fun of also he was like it wasn't a hit and i'm gonna make go back at him and say it literally yeah. says it yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. fuck you that's crazy yeah. he's trying to spin it so but yeah it comes out i'm very excited about it so hopefully hey garrett cole fucking the grommy if he's all right that's you what are I want. fucked, by the way. The Mets are just... Yeah, they're in trouble. They're in trouble, man. But hey, nice to see oh, did you. Did you advance? Uh, yeah. Uh, Marty's in the second heat, so he'll be here till 10 o'clock. To, for, to take a test? Like, I hate tests. <laughs> like, what, and it's also Nick's test. And now he's going to put you in the fucking and blender. And it'll be like seven times six. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good stuff, man. <laughs> I wanted to real quick talk about the comedian who's a viral sensation this weekend. Do you know what I'm about to talk about? I, I mean, I can tell where we're not going, but <laughs> <laughs> Ari Shafir. What did he do? I didn't see this, dude. Ari went big viral. Oh was, yeah, yeah. How I'm gonna show you this? the clip, and I cannot wait to find to see the people who follow up on him from this. So I'm I'm just gonna. It's him on. Um, I forget the name of that show. Uh, First date the, the, with uh, Lauren with Conrad. Lauren Compton. Com Lauren Compton. Lauren Compton. Yeah. Um, this is What is the sweetest thing you've ever done for someone? I said uh, to a lady, clear a weekend for me. She's like, oh, where are we going? I'm like, don't worry about that. Just pack a bag. What should I pack? <laughs> pack something casual, pack something to hike in, pack uh, maybe some cocktail attire. Picked her up in a car. Where are we? Don't worry about it. Drive to JFK. <gasps> yeah, she's like, what the fuck? We're getting on a plane? To where? Don't worry about it. We got a drink at the airport. Where are we going? Birmingham, Alabama. She goes, what the fuck's in Birmingham? She starts looking up what's in Birmingham. We land, get in a car, Birmingham. We start driving. About an hour and a half later, we hit the Mississippi border. And she's like, what the fuck's in Mississippi? I go, oh, don't worry about that. It's a surprise. The whole thing's a surprise. We get through the town of Philadelphia, Mississippi. Small town. Got to a, the best hotel in town, which is like La Quinta. And she goes, what's in the other bag? And I'm like, if you open it, you'll know. But don't open it. And she's like, okay. Next day, got up, went to get breakfast. She's like, what's going on? She's like, you'll see. Every storefront just has all this like artwork in it saying, welcome Dolly. Dolly Parton's playing. She doesn't play anymore. I know. She stopped. Marty Stewart. He has a museum, a country music museum in Philadelphia, Mississippi. She decided to do one show for him. And tickets went on sale months and months before. I waited in line to get tickets. and went to see Dolly Parton at a 500-seater, fucking 12 rows back. And she was like, this is great. I would have packed certain clothes. <laughs> if I knew it was gonna be Dolly Parton. I was like, damn it, if I only realized that and brought one of your friends over to your house to pick out outfits that you would have worn, and that's what's in the other bag. And it was all her fucking tassels. Oh my God. All her boots, different outfits. Stop. It was the best. So that's going, that now has 24 million views. Girls are like, this guy is the sweetest guy in the whole world. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea who he is. Already. If only I could be a fly on the wall as everyone goes around to Google and Ari Shafir, the nice man. We have two stories in this room that could be. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. That is. You know what, man? Good for Ari, dude. Good for Ari. Get some good PR out Women there for going, a change. Just like Lauren did there, where it's like, no, stop. Like, dude. I'm, sh I'm sure, like, the next. Next question from Lauren was like, so like, do you have sex on the first date? And Ari's like, I fuck him in the ass. <laughs> I'm sure the rest of that was like horrible. Being like, women don't deserve to vote. Dude, that is so fucking good. Ari Shafir, internet heartthrob. Not all men are bad. Bro, oh. 
to get who to says win. romance is dead. <laughs> is he like be like what's what's this? let's see some of his other comedy? That's he so put good. his man pawn on someone's <laughs> phone. <laughs> <laughs> he he rehydrated a cum soaked uh, fucking washcloth and put it on his face. Remember that one? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Uh, Ari Shafir, I mean, he, he's a jack of all trades. Yeah, he's a multi <laughs> multi tool player. Also, I well, some talk beans a little obviously a rope a dope, but shout out to very, Shane. Very cool that Shane. My my dad texted me Saturday night and was just like, I'm just gonna say, it's pretty cool to have your friend hosting SNL. Yeah, and I was like. Yeah, Dad. It is. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's the first time I was trying to think of like, not, not like just just gonna say, just gonna throw it out there. It's pretty cool to know someone who's landed on the moon. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, dude, I it's fucking a, it's know. A, it's a hyper exclusive list of people. <laughs> like, it, it was definitely, uh, you know, at this point, sometimes I'm I'm like, you know, we 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 know a lot of super talented people, but, uh, and and we've even talked to people who have done amazing things you know you look like a danny devito or something yeah. that's like an incredible uh i'm sure he's hosted right or done similar things and but to actively do it when you know you're in the mix like when you talk to someone or know them or watch their rise or whatever is it's like wow that's a big one yeah even, I, I, even by our standards where we're very lucky where we get to talk to a lot of people who have a lot of cool experiences that one is like oh shit one thing i think that people took away from it was that and I think it's because so many new people were watching that everyone, uh, the, from what I saw, a lot of people were like, the people in the back, the, the band didn't laugh at all. Like, fuck that, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, th I, wanna, I, I don't think the band ever laughs. I think, I, I don't know if it, because I, I remember watching Bargazzi's. I don't watch a ton of monologues, but I remember watching Bargazzi's and noticing, wow, they're not laughing at all. Yeah, Nate's, a, Nate's another one. Who, that's and really probably it, right? I think, I, I, I think and, and like Nate was killing, and, you know, he doesn't have any of that. You know, tension perhaps that Shane. I was gonna say brought, Nate, like, Nate is made for an SNL yeah. monologue, so it's perfect. Um, I think they just—I don't know if it's like an order from Lorne or something like that. I think they just never laugh. Mm -hmm. I think it, like their thing is like we keep a straight face uh, because let, then you, because then I, then I could do see start. It, yeah, I could see it coming from Lorne being or, like you never laugh because right. something when you do laugh, then and, and, you know it's a, yep. it starts to show. It actually does show whether yep. you like or don't like a person. Where it's just like no one's ever laughing. Right. Done. Right. Um. I think that must that has been what it was. I uh, I mean he's still just such a lightning rod that you know the reaction is either was either uh, people who have always and will always probably hate Shane being like he sucked it was terrible and then the the you know the, the Gillis Nation just being like that was absolutely fucking incredible. Yeah, he is still uh, uh, you know as as polarizing as it can get as far as the people who hate him and the people who love him. Right, which is probably where you want to be i'm sure it's not the most uh relaxing lifestyle for shane <laughs> um but but he, he had a real heat check moment at one point <laughs> when he introduced 21 savage yeah and sports illustrated jacket on <laughs> he, uh, yeah. you know, he, he goes for it every now and then was, i'm feeling good boys yeah. <laughs> Dude, that, that's one thing with shane is, is every now and then he like he, he bought like all of the the drake, the Nike drake. Stuff yeah. and he, he uh he always mm. like he sometimes he wears jerseys and he tests it and he's like i feel stupid i'm in a bryce harper jersey like he's always a li like a little bit aware of of what he's wearing and then once he really made it i think he started being like fuck it okay. yeah, yeah. Uh, but it was the build-up was very cool uh like a ton of support from uh, like all of his friends and fellow comics and then just everyone under the sun who thinks that they you know know Shane or promote yeah, yeah. Shane I mean the <laughs> amount of was a testament to Shane yeah yeah like, but it like, was, there was a lot of funny like I'm gonna post my picture with Shane and my story with Shane yeah. and all that sort of stuff with him I, I was but on the, a the, the build up was bigger I didn't think that was gonna be as I mean my my timeline Saturday morning and afternoon <laughs> was just nothing yeah like, tonight's the night tonight's the night tonight's the night and then afterwards of course went off but the build-up to me was even crazier yeah uh and it was cool seeing like uh tommy and o'connor and those guys <laughs> hey. like backstage and at the after party and you know like bringing the crew along to do it is like that that the best thing in the world is to be able to make it while you're still with your friends and like you didn't have to sell out you didn't yeah. ditch your you didn't ditch your og friends or your family you're not surrounded by your your yes men and you're like posse it's like he's just with all like the fellow comics that he was with so oh, yeah. that's uh it took a, it took a little took a little uh detour to get there <laughs> but he did it you know the best way best way possible i loved i fucking loved 
uh, Liberty Emu. Yeah. I thought that was so funny <laughs> when 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 the when the the subtitle said maybe he did have a gun. Yeah. <laughs> he just dangling. It. You wanted this all the time, didn't you? Well, you planned this the whole time, didn't you? Very funny shit. John had a good point though. If we ever. And I, I think I've said this to you before, but I'm going to tell you now, Pavs and Jackie and everyone, if lawyer legal ever tells you that we're not allowed to use somebody's name or a logo or reference or a, anything, they just use the fucking name, the logo, the sounds, the <laughs> mascot. They said the name <laughs> and they inferred that it was, you know, a drug dealing murderer. <laughs> so, uh, you know, God, I, I, I don't know what that is. I actually texted Rosebud. She never fucking texted me back. I wonder. I was like, maybe, maybe NBC does like clear things because they're on such a high level. Or maybe when you're that big, you you have a legal team that can fight it. And maybe Barstool is a lower level where we would be in trouble or something like that. But all I know is, at, we have gotten to a point at Barstool Sports where the legal team shoots down like. 80% of what I try <laughs> we, to do we or had want a, to do. I don't even know what happens with the rest of the company, but every one minute, man, all your skits, a lot of our, our podcast segments are constantly shot down by legal. And and I don't blame the producers for being like, I don't want to get in trouble. Like Joey Langone and the one minute man guys are always like, I'm not risking my job, yeah, yeah. but I'm like, you do it. And if there's a problem, tell them to come to me because mm -hmm. this is getting... Like, the company's going to die. <laughs> We're just not going to make any content eventually. It's going to dry up if we can't reference things that are going on and people that are, you know, companies that are in the news and names that are in the news. It's fucking crazy. It, it's like I said before, like, everyone's job is to keep their job. Right. So, like, yeah, you're going to say no to everything. Everything. Because why it, make your job harder? It, like, it, I, I get it every step of the way. Her, I understand. What, what there needs to be for, our, for Barstool Legal and uh, corporate, whatever, legal, let's call it. They're, they should get paid on like some sort of metric of like how well content in that realm does. Like there should be an incentive to be a, to have a good green light. Yeah, you yeah, know what I mean. Right. Because because if your job is just don't get us sued by a company, anytime we mention a company, I would say no, no, <laughs> no. I don't give a fuck about your guys' podcast or your skit. <laughs> but if they were tied into like revenue or or success somehow. I don't know how you would do that. It'd be a very convoluted thing where it's like if Out of Order does a skit that involves a name that you cleared and it does well, like that's, you know, you get a bigger bonus. Yeah. Then I bet you they would be a little more liberal. Mm -hmm. But instead, it's just no, 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 because then you can't get sued ever again. <laughs> <laughs> well, that I think is what the job is, is like no fair use, no parody laws, satire laws, yeah. and be able to enforce it if shit goes down. Not just... Could we get sued for this? Yes. Yeah. You can get sued for anything. <laughs> and you might lose, you might win, but you can get sued for like literally anything. So I don't need you to tell me that, you know? It's like, of course, the safest role would be no logos, no references, no names, no nothing. But then the content sucks dick. And then you don't have, a, a, you can't be a high paid lawyer at a company that has bad content. <laughs> so fucking it, the whole thing, I mean, whether it's legal or or the social team or whatever like you gotta gotta take some risks there's gonna be some strikes against you yeah. there's gonna be some wax on the wrist you can't be totally squeaky clean or you just end up fading out and like whoever the new influencers are who don't worry about that shit will just you know take over like I'm, I'm i don't think miss peaches worries about any sort of <laughs> any sort of legal problems <laughs> i don't think miss peaches worries about fucking anything Miss Peaches just does whatever she wants. She's got five hundred thousand <laughs> followers on goddamn Instagram. I I, I texted John this, and and I should have known it, especially right after I made the video. I don't know if people have seen it. It's on our YouTube channel. About it's the full definitive story of Dave Portnoy's deal with the devil, and I made it like one week too early, because I would love to have had a little addition where Dave also just got a dog. That's all he did. He just got a dog. And he, and he adopted it, and that's that's good. But he just got a dog, and somehow that became the biggest story on the internet. <laughs> Dave Portnoy getting a dog was like he was it was like he was the first person to get a dog. <laughs> you would have thought he has like a pet elephant. The way people are acting. He, he, he Miss Peaches, you would think, is like an alien from another planet. <laughs> I, you know, I, I'm sure that there's, you know, some so there's another fucking another animal out there 
who's like another dog who's like what the fuck <laughs> miss peaches gets all the love i you know uh, rover over here is the same goddamn thing how come i'm not a star it's it's like the uh it's like the comedians who are like oh you know like white guys can't make it anymore it's it's, o- it's only these people over here yeah. there's probably some other breeds of dog being he only got it because it's a pit bull <laughs> so he's only five hundred thousand followers because it's a pit bull it's the the the, 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 situ- the system's rigged against me the but it's very funny and very fitting that like r- j- we've been doing it for a little while but i feel like m- most recently we definitively said that over the top dog culture is blah, we're out on it the- i don't think that episode's out yet oh no is that I, on out i think that was with kim yeah kim's not out yet okay uh, well we but we've been you know alluding to it here and there so we we said it and it'll be out that you know the people who just let their dogs do whatever they want and the people who talk that the, the, the miss peach's voice just gives me Ugh. i don't know maybe it's because i know dave and uh, you never see any emotion out of him it almost feels like he's like trying to like okay let me put on my voice now Miss Peach is as soon as we were like, ah, I don't like that on the internet. <laughs> it's the, uh, of course. And I could, uh, we should have uh, bet the rent on that one that as soon as we say, nah, I don't like that, it becomes the most successful thing at Barstool. <laughs> That's par for the course. Uh, but that, Miss Peach just eats everything in sight. So, uh, you know, I think Kirk and, and Whitney on the unnamed show were talking about. Kirk said that it's going to be a new line of content where it just eats children and rates it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> One bite. Everyone knows the rules of Miss Peaches. He eats some kid's face off. Uh, but, yeah, shout out to Miss Peaches. I mean, what a dream come true for her. Yeah. You go from, the like, the orphanage to the $8,000 bowls. $8,000 bowl is insane. I, I, insane. I don't. I, despite how rich Dave is, I've never seen him do, and I, and I don't. I've never been to his homes. I don't really know much. I, there's not much I've ever been able to see, but I've never seen something and gone like, "Nah, it's a little tacky." Yeah, the well, bowls. The come on, Dave. Louis well, Vuitton bowls. He he said he was like, "That's the point that like I'm pa- I'm pampering her so she gets the best." But the, but you can pamper without being tacky. That's tacky. I, I I think one of I think Whitney maybe said it like you can get an eight hundred dollar bowl and it would still be like, I didn't oh even my know God. the price I just saw that it had eight, LV eight, on 8, it eight thousand it's I, called, it, was it called God God uh, he was oh it does it not God, have LV I thought it, I thought it had it, no, like a pattern it's, on it, it it's uh, I think he bought multiple things so I don't know if, it's it's a different brand uh, the, the, that the I've never even heard the, of the it's price Go, it's Goyard huh Goyard Goyard yeah know. he was like, like you know ask your Ask any girl about it, they'll know. And I was like, I don't, I don't know what the okay. yard is. I, the, the price isn't what I, I didn't know. The price, I would. That's not what I found. That. I thought you thought the, it was Louis Vuitton. I thought Louis Vuitton. Yeah. So maybe if it's not, I, don't, I guess I'm, I'm. It's a go yard, same thing. Yeah. Oh, it's the same. Oh, like, it, no, 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 I'm saying it's like the same thing as Louis Vuitton. It's just a. It's but like, so it's a noticeable pattern. Noticeable pattern. Okay. Yeah. 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 A little tacky. Yeah. <laughs> that's okay. A little tacky. <laughs> Too tacky. John wouldn't eat out of that bowl. <laughs> <laughs> um. But yeah, good. Good for her to. Uh, just hit the lottery <laughs> on the fucking on on the right uh person to adopt you uh all right so let's get into it with our boy drewski on kfc radio let's talk to him all right thanks for watching make sure you subscribe like and leave a comment below click that button or i'll cut off my finger <laughs> <laughs>